What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the copy file action. So copy file allows you to pass in a file and then it will copy it to another location in your OneDrive for Business. So let's take a look at that today. So in my Power Automate flow here, uh, my OneDrive flow, and I've got a trigger which is when a file is modified uh, in this Power Automate folder, and we're not going to include any subfolders inside this. Next, we're going to click on New Step. Then we're going to search OneDrive for Business. Select that one and then choose Copy File. Now, the first thing actually for is the file that we want to copy. So from here, we're going to click on the, uh, the folder. Then we're going to click on the arrow. We're going to navigate to my Power Automate folder and we're going to choose this document, this patvd.docx, all the letters there. Now, the next thing it asks you for is the destination file path. And if you look at the, the text that's inside the box, it says the destination file path includes, including target file name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this out of here, put that into there. Then I have another folder after that called stop uh, looping. And then we're going to say uh, test copy file patvd.docx. Uh, so you have to specify the whole destination path. So I I have a folder in here um, in my Power, Auto Power Automate folder, sorry, and there's a stop looping folder and the whole path of that would be this Power Automate stop looping test copy uh, .patvd. Now you can, you can actually just copy it uh, using this, so you can kind of go find your target location, copy it and then paste it into here, um, and that's another option for you. We also have the ability to overwrite, and we can specify yes or no here. So if we're going to copy this file to another location, we can say, right, okay, we're going to copy it, but we want to overwrite the existing one, or no, we're not going to overwrite if there's one already there. So that's another option we've got here. So what we can do is we can test this out. So we click on test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, and we'll go into Power Automate, and we're just going to um, update this file here. I'm just going to remove that, and that should trigger it. So saving, go back to Power Automate, and we can see that it says the flow runs successfully. I'm just going to go back to the flow details and then just uh, pick up this one. It, yeah, because we had the, because we're modifying a record and then it's picking up data and modifying it again, it's just uh, having a little, little issue there with the, the trigger. But we can open up the, um, the Power Automate here, the, the copy file, and we can see uh, this is the data we put in. So this was what we wanted to get out. And this is the this is the destination file path. We can see the outputs. We can see the paths here and the drives, etc. Is folder false? We can see all this information. If we go back to Power Automate onto my OneDrive business, go into the stop looping, we can then see that this is the file here, um, the Power Automate um, video here. So one of the things that is a little bit um, funky about some of these connectors is that it does tend to, um, as soon as you open it, it says you've modified it. So it's triggering it then, and that's why we actually saw those error runs, is that it's triggered it, then the flow's picked up and it starts to copy it, then it's triggered it again, and it's tried to um, it's tried to copy something that was already in, in motion. So it is something you need to be aware of, uh, especially with the modified triggers, that, you, that you're not triggering a lot of things and you're actually getting the right data. But we can see that it's copied this across here successfully and created this new file for us. So there we have it. That is the copy file action in Power Automate and OneDrive Business. What do you guys think about, um, about it? What do you use it for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you'd like and share it with your friends, it'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.